Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 21 player review. This is Leo here bringing you another Rule Breakers team to review. And today it is the turn of Patrick Van Anjo, one of the FIFA favorites for the past couple of years. He's always received some sort of non performance card i believe he had a foot miss once he also had a winter refresh last year and now he completes the trifecta with this rule breakers card and honestly i think this might be the best left back in the premier league guys look at just let's just look at his stats man fantastic stuff first let's talk about the pace he gets a plus Four pace in his upgrade as I'm searching him on my phone but yeah he had 86 pace on his normal card and now it is increased to 90 and honestly he should be able to catch up to anybody coming his way and that is what you want from a left back even though he is high low guys so please keep that in mind definitely gonna have to put an instruction set there so he can stay back and I will not have problems on a counter attack on to the shooting he can actually shoot guys 75 shooting Goes up from 68, I guess. I mean, if you're in, if you if you like attacking fullbacks, then this card might be the one for you. But I'm gonna skip it because I'm gonna be testing out his defensive abilities. Onto the passing of 60, it does get lowered by five. His normal goal card at 71, and as long as he can get it out of trouble, that is all I am here for. Onto the dribbling, a plus five upgrade for Bananjo. 83 agility, 81 balance should make him feel even more faster on the pitch. That is what I love to see, to be honest. And then let's skip that and go straight into the defending of 83. A plus 12 in defending, guys. 81 interceptions, 83 defensive awareness, and 88 standing tackle. That is what you love to see from your fullbacks. High defensive work rates, guys. And then the lastly, the physical of 77 plus 6. He does get a stamina boost up to 86, so that's really good. Strength is atrocious, but aggression is 81. And I think I will be applying a Sentinel probably just to max out the defending and increase that physical a bit. And I think he should be a wall. He sh I should call him the Dutch wall, to be honest. And lastly, the player trades long throwing and long shot taker. Guys, he is very expensive. Just like every rule breaker card, to be honest. As soon as they raise the cap prices, everybody went up. And he's going for around 170k at the time I record him. I did sniper for 160. So I gotta do this review. Sell him quick so I don't lose any coins. So let's get on to the review. Alright, he's testing. Vamos a banan colt. Gabriel Jesus. Nice tackle right there. First four minutes of the game. We already have a tackle with banan colt. And he's trying to get into the attack. That you love to see that man. High low work rates. Great pass to Angel Di Maria. Angel Di Maria se la pasa para Tonali. Tonali. Angelito. Ay. Beautiful Banango. Oh my goodness. Great reactions right there. Good interception, Bananjo. Great pass. Ay, ay, ay. Vamos. He's making the run. Angel Di Maria. One on one versus Aki. Who's faster? Obviously, Di Maria. Let's go. Nice. Come on. Left. Oh my goodness. What a fantastic finish. Vamos, Bananjo. There we go. Nice interception, bro. Beautiful dribbling and pace. Honestly, Van Ankle's a great offensive left back. Come on, there we go. Van Ankle had to stay quiet just so I could concentrate on that tackle. But Van Ankle comes through. Beautiful stuff again. So that will conclude game number one for Patrick Van Anholt 7.1 rating right there on that left back spot. No goals, no assists, but passes completed 7 out of 8, dribbles completed 8 out of 9, and tackles 1-0 out of 0. 
I guess he had more interceptions than tackles. I thought he had more tackles. But Bananco did really good in the first game. Hopefully in the second game he can duplicate his performance. Game number two. And yeah, really meta squad. I'm getting used to seeing all these players maximum. Rashford, Dembele, Baran Gomez, you know. More, much more of the same. Hopefully our team can perform better. All right, vamos. He's testing. I'm saying maximum versus Van Aanholt. There we go. Look at that standing tackle. Beautiful stuff from the Dutchman. Vamos. Beautiful. Good. There we go. Nice. And he, and he stood up. He doesn't need the tackle. He doesn't need the foul. He stood up there, and Van Aanholt's impressing me right now. Mendy was my favorite. Van Aanholt, he wants to be. Nice interception by Nanko, man. He's everywhere so far. Nice, Van Anholt. So that concludes today's review for Patrick Bananja Rope Breakers. In the last game, he does get a 6.3 rating. In the second game, there was a disconnection, so I don't know what rating he got. But, I mean, he did a solid job on that left side. My opponent was more attacking on the right side towards Banan and Mindy for some reason. I guess, I don't know why he was shying away from Bananja, but I would too, because he is a beast. He does get 4 out of 5 drills, completed tackles 1, 0 out of 0, and passes completed 3 out of 4. And that'll be enough of the gameplay portion of this review. Let's go on to the final thoughts on Banajo Rule Breakers card. Guys, I have found the best left back in the Barclays Premier League. Yes, move over. Uh, Robertson, Andy Robertson, get out of here because Patrick Banajo has arrived and as of right now, he probably is the best option at left back in my opinion. Guys, let's go straight into the pros. Number one, it's going to be that 90 pace of his. He is so rapid on the pitch and you can definitely feel that upgrade. I have not played with this gold card, but he's always been a pacey player and a tricky player to get passed by and it is because of that high pace. And talking about the pace, second pro on this card is that 83 agility of his. His, it feels like 89 to 90 to be honest that's how fast he feels in game onto the third pro is going to be that 88 standing tackle just press circle and he will get you that ball back and then the last pro is going to be that 81 interception of his he is really good especially if you increase it i put a sentinel on him and it was game over you saw the standing tackles and everything he did on the pitch whether it was an interception or just trying to get the ball back he was getting it from my side and now on to the cons he does have cons however only two of them and they're going to be the 68 strength and 71 composure i say the 71 composure because you will feel it in clutch games especially when you're trying to make elite one elite two or elite three you definitely will feel it there and then the strength he needs to be stronger man so i highly advise you increase that and on to the leo tips stay back while attacking it is the best best instruction set for him because he is high low he will go up uncontrollably if you do not put that instruction set that i have recommended for you guys and then the second leo tip is gonna be no, no tip actually. It's just Green League to Van Dyke. Let's celebrate, guys. But that will lead to our final rating of 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed this left back card. And honestly, he is worth the coins. He is a really beast option for the Prem right now. They only have like Robinson and uh, that Spaniard from, I forgot his name, but the Spaniard for Tottenham and Reguilon. That was his name, Reguilon. And Van Anhold is probably the best choice for you if you're running an OP sweaty. BPL side. But anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully it helped you out in deciding whether you want to pick up this card or not. And you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit as well. Before I let you go, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. I have been killing it with the support and I love seeing that guys. Please take a second out of your day. Like this video, subscribe to the channel and that'll be all for today. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.